Jai Swami Narayan. In this video, we will be seeing some of the miscellaneous features of this uh, Gurukul application. So in this video, we will be looking at registration, hostel, consumer store, and user management. So let's look at registration. So here in this registration section, we have the following records. That is the registration year, registration status. This is the registration status, which one can change, yes or no. No means the registration will be closed. And then uh, number of registration student, accepted students, and seats remaining. Uh, these records are for this particular school. Then we can change to another school and another school. And we can see the records of boys and girls separately here with uh, both the mediums, English and Gujarati mediums. And it's standard admission open status, total seats, remaining seats. Now let us look at registration configuration. So here in this configuration tab, we can see uh, the total number of C and edit, the total number of edits and the admis admission open status. I can close this and increase the number of seats or decrease the number of seats and then hit on submit and it would save the record for this particular school. That is the hostel school. Same way I can do this for school Yogiji Maharaj Mark and same way for school Gyan Bhag. Let us come at confirm admission where I can search uh, the candidates or the students by their uh, city or hostel, and then by their gender, medium English. Let's look at fourth standard student. Uh, if there is a particular student by his ID or by name, I can look for them, Aadhaar number, start date, end date, etc. records and submit it. And I can get the student registered or confirmed. And then I can download the records or I can import the records from my own system by choosing any file from my own system. And let us come at confirm administration, confirm admission section. Here I can uh, see the records of the students that have those who have their admissions being confirmed and I can download the records and I can also import the records in the same manner. Now let us go back to hostel. So, in this particular section, I can assign any student to a particular room as well as particular bed. So if I click on this and search for a particular student, hit on this and click on submit. So this particular room, ATB14, in, uh, sorry, this particular bed in this particular room will be assigned to that particular student. And I can search uh, the rooms by their room numbers. Uh, we have different uh, hostel names and uh, different floors and I can view each and every student that has been assigned a particular bed and the room number by just clicking on this. So now let us look at student info. I'll, for example purposes, I'll just enter nearest possible record, submit it and you can see the particular records of the student. Uh, one can also edit it and update it and the records would be updated. I'll, we can also see the empty rooms that are being present in this uh, uh, database that is several rooms in basement and all etc and let us go back and view the consumer store this is the consumer store where uh, we have this particular store in this food category I, I can see what are the food items that are being present same way I can select any uh, other categories such as clothing or stationery and I can see what are the items that are being present and then on orders I can view the records of the particular orders in two formats that is a simple order and the bulk order format I can search by the start date end date uh, by a category that is comment or order by and then records by bulk order etc and uh, look for the records that are being present here and same way I can see the transaction history here uh, by these following categories and the records will be shown into this page and I can also download this let us move at bulk order and uh, if I want to order multiple items at once I can order them uh, assign them to a student by the student ID uh, assign multiple students with their IDs uh, one particular item that is the bulk order functionality and this and now let us look at this inventory so I can add any particular item I can edit any particular category like I mentioned earlier I can add uh, a food item or a stationary item or a clothing item and can reset the already existing values in, the, in this section so now let us move to um, user management section here we have uh, three subsections that is the dashboard that shows the approved users uh, and the received and rejected uh, requests of users here is the list of uh, here would be shown the list of number of users uh, this uh, receive tab shows the number of requests that we have received accepted which means the request that we have accepted for a particular user and in this accepted user list I can also edit the access level permissions along with the credentials of the users so these are the credentials of the user that are being saved and I can change the 
access type to any particular um, school and any particular role and I can save it and also send set password link as well now let us look at student info same ways I can search for a particular student with by their role number or name submit it and it would show me the records of that particular student which I can edit as well and hit on update to save it so this was all about the miscellaneous then uh, we will be also sharing another video of in this section again